Okay, I'm doing a local recording, which is this is what I call a side note recording, but software that I'm using is they call it a local recording. So I'm going to a live stream running, but it's going to be full with me talking now. I'm, you don't have to worry about areas where I talk because I'm going to record them, like right now. Here's part two, right? And um, starting and stopping the stream, you know. I know number two, which is the uh, body. Today is a green bit bull day. A green bull. Green bull. Come on, guys, shortly. Boom. 21st. All right. Our back tests are showing from the sixth right now. From the fifth, I'm sorry. Just know these back tests that you see are from. It started, the first trade was taken on the 5th of August. All the other trades were placed. For today, the 21st. How many days is that? One, two weeks? Two weeks and three days. Let's say, this is 15 days worth of trading, okay? Average a lot of stuff over here. Average. But like I said, we're going to get into exactly how to trade. Because I know there's people who are losing in their trade. Give them the proper instructions before using Big Bull. So that's what this is an attempt to do. I'm going to try to do a better version of this even. Cover it again, okay? First attempt at trying to give a basic education as, as risk management. We see, we're not traders, everybody. We are risk managers, all right? That idea out of your mind that you're a trader. You can tell people you're a trader if you want, because that's what real traders do. They, especially the professionals, they don't they don't dare tell you that they're risk managers. Yeah, you manage your risk, but they don't tell you that's what they do. That's your job. Your job is to manage risk. Okay. So if you're not managing your risk and you just let a bot run, okay. If you've noticed, I'm using a bot that is 68 percent profitable. That means there's some losses in there. Now, what if you're over leveraged on one of those losses like I was last week? Wipe your whole account out like I did. Lesson learned. Learn from me. Go get. Now you can see exactly how you lose your account. Check it out. You'll see. Damn, he brought his account from sixty dollars all the way up to one to eighteen hundred dollars. That's one thousand eight hundred dollars. I turned sixty dollars, okay, in five days' time, okay, into one thousand eight hundred dollars using Bitbull. That justifies the price of Bitbull, all right, for you, why you want to get Bitbull. I'll work with you, but at the end, if you don't pay me, I repossess Bitbull, all right, I'll work with you, half now, half later. Watch my videos, trade along with me, make the money like that too, you don't have to give me anything, just trade along with me. But Bitbull, it's going to put a trade on while you're sleeping, all right. Let's get into this now. I'm gonna talk about is a guy named Jesse Livermore. Remember, this position got on twice for some reason. Hey, okay, we're going up. Great decision. off any any moment now i'm also publishing a uh the last side note side note number one oh, good and the real meat of the potato is right here this is really what i want you to got a lot of things going on okay got you know jagged and rough all right it's a rough Stuff that I'm, I'm getting into.
Host by leverage die by Jesse Livermore. What? Host by leverage Life? die by leverage Jesse. How you make this say live? By leverage, Jesse. Live. Live. Not live. Live. Okay, you saw that, guys? I put a, I put a, uh, a space in front of the, uh, the letter, the quote, and it says quote. That's quote, and it's gonna say unquote. But you gotta put a space. I just put spaces. Quote: Live by leverage, die by Jesse Livermore. but difficult to humans dislike being wrong losing trade may find some excuse only to suffer the consequences it is important to remain humble and admit to mistakes early and it is easier to do this by keeping quiet on our trades and not boasting about positions when talking to peers. However, most investors have a loss adverse nature which makes EPRN unable to adopt and execute a stop loss rule early. Losing trade is usually held on to until the loss becomes unbearable or until an investor gets a margin call from the ender and is forced to close a position. Depending on the level of leverage used, all 5% loss can be swiftly magnified to 70% or more. From a mathematical perspective, e loss, the harder it will be to recoup losses. Therefore, stakes must be acknowledged and stopped early. I'm going stop there. I'm going to stop there. Right here is where our... So we want to make sure across. We're going to go to the book itself. Now this book is unavailable. All right, you can try to buy it. It's nowhere. I believe there is someone who has purchased all of these damn books to keep the secrets. Maybe I can download the PDF. Definitely can't. You can't uh, buy it anywhere. Not even a hard. And there's no digital copies anywhere. So at this part right here, we're, we're talking about uh, however most investors have loss adverse nature. Most investors have a loss adverse nature. It makes them, all right, that's. Them unable to adopt and execute now that's a word i like to use now adopt and adopt adopt what do you mean adopt execute stop loss rule early you can't adopt and execute a stop loss rule early you're unable loss adverse adverse Let's look it up up the word this word and didn't look the word because there's a hyphen in front of it that's what it is it's interestingly stupid okay, this one look there we go I know how to do it preventing success adverse Loss adverse, preventing success or development, harmful. So 
most investors have a loss adverse nature, okay, which is preventing them from having success and development. Harmful, you know, losses are harmful to them, which makes it unable for them to adopt. That fact that they're loss adverse and the losses hurting them, that makes it unable for them to adopt and execute stop loss rule early. Now that's what we're going to do now. We're going to inch, inch, stop loss rule early, okay? So along with this, we're trading right now. Are we in profit? Yes. Yeah, so I don't have a loss to stop. Now. But short when I take it off. All right, come on right now. Wherever I take it off at, I'm going short because that's the only thing. It don't keep going up there's the only other way to go is down you understand what i mean so no playing games if the thing doesn't go higher and higher just get me down into a negative zone only way only the only way we can go is down and higher and higher and i tip the trade off by market manipulation which basically whipsaw this up and completely back down then i know that something is up right so we know what that happens with that. Oh, we're going higher. We're going higher. Then all of a sudden, a market sell-off take you negative position. Okay? Because that's You want to get screwed when you're over leveraged. But if you take... Your stop loss is early over leverage when you is going ever should ever 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 should we ever get liquidated again. Don't get liquidated by having an over leveraged loss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you're over leveraged on the position, then get out of it. And it's, if it's losing, get out of it. Fuck that. Let's go over this again. Oh, oh by no. leverage, die by leverage, no, Jesse stop, Livermore. Stop. What's this mean? For many investors. Pause. Start pausing and resuming it. So, and fast forward. If I, if I. However, yes, thank you. However, most investors have a loss adverse nature which makes them unable to adopt and execute a stop loss rule early. Losing trade is usually held on to until the loss becomes unbearable or until an investor gets a margin call from the ender and is forced to close a position. Depending on the level of leverage used, a small 5% loss can be swiftly magnified to 70% or more from a mathematical perspective. E. Loss. The harder it will be to recoup losses. Therefore, mistakes must be acknowledged and stopped early. The format of this is kind of tripping me out. I wanted to erase some of this. For this. Copy. Go all back. Button call the formatting. So I cleared all the formatting. I wish there was a text wrap feature right here.
that know that uh paragraphs editing these paragraphs. First, let's select it first. Sometimes you get different. There's really like no case without formatting. I was looking for you. All right. Cold. Level of leverage. Level of leverage used. Five percent loss swiftly magnified. Seventy percent or more, depending on the leverage used. Highlighting this because.
coverage loss win can make you Dallas is starting off with $60 you know like you know average on right dollars in there instead of 60 let's just say about put it in I think about five thousand got ten thousand dollars now okay got ten thousand dollars right what happens when I fall below a hundred like I say if I move with a ten thousand dollar position if I move up if I, I own about a Bitcoin and a half. If it moves out my direction by a hundred dollars, account can't handle handle a hundred dollar move. Against me. That's why you get liquidated. It's no for no other reason than that. You can control being liquidated. Okay? I didn't like when you guys saw me lose and get liquidated, guess what? You should be able to interpret that like what happened the next day. Guess what happened? Went right back up and the back test it's all right here go to it back test that you're looking at this bull never lost this back test never lost it never got liquidated okay so or you're saying well how's your bot so profitable but you're not right because the bot isn't trading with leverage it's trading with one Bitcoin no leverage all right, we're trading. We're trying to use this strategy with leverage. So what would you do? Okay, here's one thing you can do to calculate your leverage. Okay, grab this. Go to go into settings on your strategy with the gear settings and the inputs up properties. And right here, what are you starting off with? A hundred dollars. 60 I'm starting off with 60 so put 60 there okay that's your initial capital all right it's still it's still this back test that you see down there right, here, right in this area right here this is collecting you know, based on your gains this is not going to change this percentages don't change because you're starting off with 60 bucks all right so how you simulate leverage 60 now below I would say is percentages are more realistic you're still trading with one Bitcoin according to you have to trade with at least one share you can't you can't buy a half a share you can't buy like can with Bitcoin but according to trading view one coin you have to at least have one coin all right so, trade with one coin all right so with leverage, a $60 leverage, the only way you can get a one coin is to times this by 60. 60. You got to do 60. Start with $60 and we'll trade with 60 leverage and we'll have one Bitcoin, okay? And then you'll make exactly, exactly this in the last two weeks. You would have made yourself $1,108. Assuming you never got liquidated. Assuming you never got liquidated. That's what this does. This back test assumes you never got liquidated. Okay. On leverage, right? So our count is only 60 bucks. Trading with one Bitcoin now, which is our contract. Can we trade with two Bitcoins? Nope. Maximum leverage on BitMEX is 100 times. Probably can get close to two. So we can turn that up. Now let's just say we had, you know, Bitcoins. Let's just put $120 in it. Times that by. Times that by 60. Let's see. Get us one bit, two bitcoins. Let's see. $20 times 60 times leverage. That's one bitcoin. I still don't have two bitcoins. So, say we double that 120 to Let's just put $200 in. All right, let's put $200 in times that by 60 times leverage. Dollars in now. That by. We 
got two Bitcoins. So we got $12,000. Only starting off with two, and we got two Bitcoins. Bitcoin is on for a reason, because now we're trading with 60 times, we're trading with 60 times leverage though, okay? All right, cross leverage, all right? We can do this with cross leverage, easy. So, 60 times, what would that be? But, so you what 60 times leverage, look, I'll put it in the leverage calculator, okay? It's double 30, so easy peasy. Let's pull it up real quick while we're at it. That's what we do. That likes to when we're talking, when we're at it, we do it while we're doing it. I'll show you later. I'm not gonna do that. That's not. That's not. A I'll do it later. Later never comes. And what we're doing is one thing. Whatever was leading us to postpone it till later. I'm not gonna suspend thoughts. Now here you'll see auto view alert box. What goes in there and then cost leverage and how much leverage you get based on whatever's in your account, this is gonna give you inside your account. Dollars in there, two hundred dollars in there, right? I got two hundred dollars in there. Bitcoin no. Uh, type that there boom and it gives us how much in here we type it right there so we can point zero one two okay so well, we need this trade size would be this leverage so instead of 60 times leverage now trade size is going to be exactly one Bitcoin, see? Minus a thousand dollars. Turns to 13 at 65, so hundred dollars, okay? That's what's needed right now is point zero three one two. Here's the other thing, 65 times leverage, that liquidation is going to be on your ad, right? So, 65 times leverage, we're going to go to, 31 is right here. Ready. We got to double this. Let's do 10. Find 10, Find 10 times leverage right here. So, 12%. So, we all we got to do is multiply 12% to get it. 30, so times 12 times 3. Whatever 10x is, and then we'll Three. 
66. And that should get us. times. 68% should give us Sixty-five <laughs> average. That's one hundred and eight. So if it goes against you, one hundred and eighty. That's your ass. So we're gonna grow accounts. We're gonna grow an account. Where Scalpy comes in, you know, people are like, "Why did he make Scalpy? What the fuck is Scalpy gonna do?" Scalpy is zero percent loss. Zero loss. But I think any, no matter what you can, there's, there's really nothing you can do. Take a position offer. I don't want to talk about Scalpy right now. <sighs> it has a draw. I don't know if there's a. Half in a hundred and eighty. Eight hundred ninety dollars. Okay, for like before we get liquidated. Rough estimation. I'm just. Estimating. Yeah, let's just say we got a hundred dollar leverage. That's how close our liquidation is to. We're a hundred dollars away. We're actually two hundred dollars away to take. Bitcoin, if it moves, if your position moves a hundred dollars away from you, get liquidated. All we got is a hundred dollars against us before we two hundred dollars. That sound good, or does it, what does that make you think about? Dollars against you, let alone twenty dollars. That is a high. Average loss. So when you against you, it's taking more than two hundred dollars per twenty. Forty dollars for every twenty dollar move. Up, give you double that or take away double that. All right. But we're rough estimating right now. Every twenty dollars is going to give you forty dollars. Dollars it takes. Takes from you forty dollars out of you. We got two hundred dollars. Got unlimited upside. Limited downside. You have to keep limiting that downside. Longer, the further it goes against you, the more you got to take it off. The more you take off. If it takes, if it starts going down against you, we're gonna start reducing. All right, we're gonna head head off some of these. Uh, was uh have yeah, a position side got a hundred dollars move so break this thirteen hundred dollars up like this about hundred anybody can do it in Going. So 
post this inside the Discord room underneath for trade dynamics. Jesse Livermore's uh, Discord group. Oh, deep. If you're watching, watching man. Deep, are you watching? Get you in a message. All right, so look. Don't give out any source code, Longhorn love. Chaser. Chaser can perform just like V1, okay? It does. It just it has the visual set up. It has everything set up, but it just it's got to figure out it's settings in and think it's going to trade. It's exactly the same. Millionaires. So here goes. Uh oh. Here goes. Never seen that before. You guys ever seen that before? Oh. I got my position size calculator open already. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Now, bam, bam, bam. Thirteen times. Now let's divide that by a hundred, which is our liquidation. Looks like this. It looks like this. Put uh, two hundred dollars up here, All right? And then Bitcoin right here. How you do that? Okay. Now you got two times leverage on, so your back test is going to look like this. Last fourteen days, we would have made four thousand dollars. Vintage gains, thousand percent gains. Everything's still the same. Now, what's going on with these losses? Trades. Now, in our list of trades, well, let's go to the performance summary. We got a gross loss of seven hundred fifty-five dollars. All right. Gross loss on longs was sixty dollars, and a gross loss on the shorts. You know, and the winning trade was a short thousand six hundred dollars. Artist trade for the longs was six hundred. Cross trade was. Uh, Average loss, okay. Right there, and then I want List of trades exactly how 
far down we went. A lot of good trades coming up, guys. Talking to you. Want to do that? Saying is right. I want to re say it and reiterate it the proper way. All right. There it is. Got no losses, really, except for this one right here. How does that help us? It doesn't. It doesn't help us at all. What does help us is that. I'm talking properly for you guys. This, we, we did this. We were here the other day. We were here the other day. Now, right here, we're long. We're two dollars in. This is a sell zone. I'm getting ready to sell this right here. Okay. I wanted to come up some more though. Touch this and touch this. All right, it's down here. But let's wait for it. Let's let's have patience and see how it goes. If it falls below here, I've already put a. I should have put the long end down here. I was doing other things. First for me again. This for me, I don't like it. Are you? Why does it? We start closing above this thing. I'm going. I'm long right now, though. But I expect us to. Because they're accumulating. Look how much they buy from. Started selling so much. Dude, right here. It was like. FOMO buying session right here. Yeah. 
that is accumulation. more coins at this price. Now we understand that we can try to play off this. We're gonna just what are the shorts looking like? Too many people short. Getting ready to run out of shorts. If it starts saying shorts liquidated, press the buy button. All right. It makes a sell it. Basically, sell you their They'll buy from you. They'll buy your coin. That's how you want to say it. Press buy. You're buying with all these shorts that are. They have to buy. With them. First to buy. Higher, so if, it, if if that doesn't tell you anything, not. oh, it's over here. Here's my two you made over. Try to make something later that does the same. from this area again you guys see that exactly right there I sorry, so don't go. Hmm. Hold off right there, and they were buying that. They didn't even allow it to get nowhere. So this selling, whatever's doing this selling right here is about to stop. I'm not gonna be able to sell no more. All this, all the real sellers are sitting up here. Seven. Just did that right here, unless we. No, I'm not wrong. I can go back into the chart. All right, let's. How about we do that now? So, uh, this. Trade you are. Up. Last time we were up here, this high. Can you guys see?
Last time we were up this high was on here. April 6th. Like, does it look fine? Yeah, right here, where they started closing their position. There's a gap there on, right? Which Rarely see those gap fucking down. Well, if there was a gap down, let's let's get. That's right here. Notice, notice their horizontal line, right? April twelfth, the, the shorts all closed together. I said, "Huh, take that." And I remember this day. That was a big ass green candle. Oh god damn! I made money on that day. Right? I'm always making money when the shorts close. All the way up here. Of course, you're going all the way back down here. So, I'll point out the price I wish they start closing at. Roughly 40000 Right here, right now. We're at, here's the blue line. That's the current price. This $5,549. At exactly 40300 they started closing. Whoever take prop Fred get all the money up here first. Uh, whoever waits gets all. Here. By the time we get down here, price is up. Where it stops, bam. Other like you know, stops right here. Which are down here now they start what going back up loading shorts back up they're loading shorts up right here those shorts up when they buy shorts go short the market right now overextended again they'll never get more than 40 it don't go up to it doesn't go up to 80,000 it doesn't go up to 8,000 8, 8, 80,000 it doesn't go up to 80,000 it doesn't go up to 80,000 on the daily chart how far back did you sort of go this is Seventeen, two thousand seventeen. Doesn't go any higher than this. Okay? It really goes up here. It really goes at thirty thousand. And something made everybody sell right there. I think it was Tone Vague. I'm like, look, uh, bearishness is over, but I'm posting a bear. Am I? How to short the market? That's what people are looking for. This time, hell, Bitcoin. <laughs> I went to my Bitcoin ATM. There's Bitcoin ATMs out here, right? Out of 20 of them, there was only one Bitcoin ATM that let me sell my Bitcoin. All the other ones were only buy Bitcoin from these ATMs. One, so you can sell. Where from? 
Virgin. There's no way. We're up here. Hell zone right here. My place is the bar right now. What's short you right here? Following my video right now. Make sure you end up buying it back soon. If you do short, you know, buy it back. Because we can come down here. Yeah, we can't come down here. Add to my position. the price Damn, that now that fine anything back So, mode. Oh. I forgot where I want to buy it. Anything below here, but it's like, where is it going to go, though? Where is it going to go? Is it going to go all the way down here? That is the question. Where is it going? Because I don't know. But they're selling right now. Matter of fact, I can take a position. We don't. I don't. Feel, I feel like we're not getting any any. I'm gonna put point five in. DEEP. -E I'm gonna put some coin in your wallet, and I'm gonna trade. I'm gonna trade your your uh, account. Or I make some money. I'm gonna put point. Let's just say point zero zero. Trade along with mine. Your bull account. When I make my trades, I'm gonna also trade via these trends. Go in here, trade anything here. I have to can't confine it only to uh, trading view and with you. Their alert system. Is going to catch them. Everybody learns. Okay, bam, that's how we do it. Other trend lines where we can just add to our position. Now stay focused. Get there when we want to do it. That's when I'll. I'll of red 
looking at this now over here this is the shorts right here we're overextended right now we're up here so start buying and clean Okay, okay. Back into the cracking. Crosses, then the professional bots are going to start buying. And they cross, and the other one crosses the cyan, they're going to be aggressive with their buying. Then when the, the green line crosses the cyan, they're going to be even more aggressive with their buying. Then, then the yellow one's going to cross this purple one, and they're going to get more aggressive with buying. Eventually, you know, the green crosses, the purple one, then the last one to cross would be the blue. Hard to say when we, go, when we start reversing what it looks like. It looks like we reverse. We're looking for pullbacks from our trade chase. Probably forever to the moon. Don't ever say that. Trading a while, you know that's not real. Never gonna go away that far. So your hodling sounds like a person that has no idea. Following one Bitcoin until it reaches a million dollars. Probably gonna hit thousand dollars, right? Then you're gonna say I'm hollering. I knew it's gonna. I'm gonna say I'm selling right there, and a bunch of other people are gonna sell right there too. They're gonna put money in their pocket. Sell down. Hands are gonna be selling. I'm gonna go back down. I'm gonna ready to buy because I sold already so now I got more money to buy back right time like right now right time to buy back is right now guarantee it I 
just want to see if I can get it any any price. Can I get a better price? Point base. Point face. I'm in there like swimwear. Hello, here we go. Analyze this part of the market. We see these pullbacks. We're in profit. We don't sell. We fall back, break even. We bounce, break even. Break our break even quickly. Maximum drawdown right here is right now. What liquidated? What liquidated me? Right here. One of them easily has dollars, right? If you are 60 times leverage. This is a hundred dollars. Let's draw us a hundred dollar trend line and then we're gonna divide twelve thousand by it. Do it right, man. Do that shit. Oh, 50. Where these numbers come from? 65, 100, 400. How about that? There's the $100 move right there. It's just, it looks like it disappeared. That's a $100 move. That's your liquidation. Price go and get you that fast. <laughs> that's your liquidation. <laughs> oh, shit. Look, that's your liquidation, All right? All right? So, you're long right here. As soon as that shit, that shit, boom. As soon as they hit right there, we're going to bring it to the front. Here. <laughs> boom liquidated boom liquidated all right boom liquidated boom that got liquidated right there too how many times you get liquidated boom you got liquidated right there That's why, what if you got short right here and the price is moving forward boom you liquidated so right there you're good you made hella dough so right there good you good you made hella dough so right here, boom, you got liquidated. So right here, almost got liquidated. So right here, boom, boom, liquidated. Look, you were right. It was short. It was right here. Look, boom. If you liquidated, your ass would have been making some money. It's a boom. Look, let's get, let, not boom, but enter a short trade and let's see. Get liquidated? No, this is short. It's good. So we could have loaded up on this one. In fact, all these shorts up here are good. Except for when you take a short too soon, like right here. That was and even this, this has the highest phase of, uh, like right now. But I, 
See, I'm, I'm getting pulled from two different directions. I know the market is over short. Short right now. It has to go high. Buy it. Folks are worth selling it. Out of this hundred dollars right here, how much should we peel off if it goes again? Come here, calculator. You stupid ass. All right, look. Divide this by a hundred. Twelve thousand. Two bitcoins by a hundred dollars. Hundred and twenty dollars. Okay. Every dollar move, we got to peel off $120. Okay. Get it? Got it? Good. We're talking about 65 times leverage. Here it is right here. 65 times leverage. Link to this document is in the description. Starting with point zero three one two Bitcoin. Trading. That's if you want to trade with sixty times leverage. That's typically what we want to do when we want to add to our position. We want to at least up there. We don't want to go past two. Count balance gets up to three twelve. What I'll do for this, for this, start our account balance right now. Trading. I'm only way that I'm going to add a position. I'm going to add it up to 30. Manage a hundred dollars, no one. Every one dollar against me, I'm taking off 120. Simple, simple, simple. Five times leverage. I can do that. Five times leverage, right? For every against you lose your position the position $120 okay dollars Fifty bucks. I just do this.
Because we get liquidated right here. Boom. It's exactly. Ain't that something? Exactly. I'd rather reduce my position than to reduce my balance. You see what I'm saying? Shifting. We're shifting the. Uh, Collateral, right? We're shifting the collateral over from balance over to that's a logical active management. Big boy, Python can okay. Python code can. That's really where we're headed after this. Hammer that out because. I'm doing this because, you know, people are using these, these. I'm using them myself. I need to generate income. But on the side, I have to make sure I, every day I set aside time to do your Python program, which is very hard for me to do. But I'd rather get this out the way first because this actually helps me. I see things I can't do, and there's a lot of shit that I can't do. You got a bot working. Everything you see me doing manually over here with these numbers. Payment orders. Being able to move around your orders. Program that type of functionality. Noobs come in and they like, come on, this is, you got to be able to do this. Can I do this? Can I do that? And I'm like, if you just read all the message history, you got to DM me directly if you want to right answer quickly. It's hard for me to find them. This is how we manage our risk, right? Please put two Bitcoin on if you want. Trade every position like that. <laughs> Move against you, it'll kill your $200 off. Liquidate you. Where's my coin at? Bitcoin to Coinbase Pro. It's not GDAX no more, people. It's Coinbase Pro. Get it right. Bitcoin.
going to kill the Deposit. Trade like this is your last. That means you don't want to lose your twenty. Make two hundred dollars from your two hundred dollars, right? You lose two dollars of it. You want to make two. I'm just playing. Let me see. Uh, Coinbase, right? All right. Already sent. Did that shit. Base withdrawal ID. Let's just go ahead and
Six bitcoins later. All right. Let's try bitcoins, pay some taxes, and get on with ourselves. Ourselves, all right. Make make six bitcoins and pay some taxes. How about this? My lucky note. Make five bitcoins and pay some taxes, and that'll work. Okay. Got to do it like that, all right? Make five bitcoin, pay some taxes. That's the goal. My goal is to the objective is to make five bitcoins and pay some taxes all right <laughs> in that order right. So we, what the hell is this channel doing what are they on the objective of this channel is right now currently in this session until we have our objective two hundred dollars okay and then go pay some damn taxes. Post very dynamic videos, okay. Oh yeah, okay, let me pause this uh, live. Okay, I'm back. Maximum, since we, ha we have the three, basically $200 in there now. We're in a long position that I've placed manually. Bitbull is running. Short. And if Bitbull may want to, you know, trade on, so what we have to do Watching this trade, it was uh, we come down here. I don't, I don't mind adding to this position. I'm not, this is a position that I'm willing to add to. Add. Ten lines. If you watch the. Uh, I just loaded up a video on trade dynamics on how to trade with trading with these trend lines. Trade specifically right from this chart. Okay, we need to come in here and type in this. We're gonna do. Color right here. I chose this to close. Short or is it long? Profit. So, like back here, like I was saying, we could have been taking profit. Like, we follow our trade up. If we get in profit, we have to do this. Otherwise, we're, no, we're never going to make any money. We have to do this. Otherwise, it's going to come back down here below us. Instead of being able to buy back right here. I always buy right here in this buy zone. Hold right here. And up, let me take it off and go long up here, right? And guess what happens? You don't know what zone you're in. Buy up here. Oh, shit. Gotta safeguard against the, the thinking. If we're wrong, then it must be the opposite trade. When really happening is. Sellers. Sellers kick it back. Hindsight. Until we start buying, got it like a sell zone. Look, 
they've got the shorts. They're at their peak. Right, right here. Last time we had a peak short. 40,000 shorts. 1,700. Here. Not, not the last time we went up, but we went up from six, seven thousand where we're at now. This is the uh, accumulation phase right here. Seventh was right here. Boom. Relation. volume happened because they were closing their shorts reality closing the short means you, you have to but they don't they close in a, a short position trading with those guys brought us all the way up $3,000 move got up here before it came down and got right back up again this blue MA Looks like the one start again. right here got at least right here <laughs> at least two thousand dollars worth of so. want to be prepared to reverse
have good news for you guys. I'm sorry, I'm, t I'm, I'm talking to some of my clients because I know they're like, where they're asking me where but they, what happened is they these guys took me on as their uh, custom bot makers. So they told me what they wanted, they paid me. That's why I took off. You know, I know guys are like, where is guy? I was working. I, I can't do everything I want, so I was working on a bot. Custom bot. It's a uh, EMA bot. And uh, their uh, room, okay, is called the Red, the Apple Red 611. So this is the Apple Red 611 project. Um, putting that out there. Prototype and I for them to test. It's my, one of my first EMA bots that I, you know, this is using the EMAs the way I see them being used. You know, along with, you know, trying to basically counter or not counter, but trade along with pick up the scraps from the bigger bots that are. Stuck in the wrong direction. They do. They they will. They'll they'll psych you out, or they'll buy before you. You thought they were gonna buy. You know. Hey, those bots are really good. Yeah, we're we're overextended, so that's why I say we're going up. High up, we're gonna go from here. But I can say it's gonna be to this. If we start any, if it looks anything like this. We come down here, we cross the yellow. Yellow crosses the, the green. Yellow crosses the green right here, but it's it's hovering around the green. Right here it hovered around the green. Back down again. You saw that? Did you have misconstrued this as accumulation right here? These levels, we accumulation, right? And it looks like this looks like the same accumulation right here, right here, and right here. And this whole part right here is accumulation. This part right here could be looked at as accumulation. Right here, right? Looks like accumulation. But then we go back down further. Because why? Because if you look at our shorts, which is right shorts they're like shorts on they took their shorts off I don't even want to see they took their shorts off and bam down here they put them back on look like accumulation of accumulation like I'm looking at this down here you haven't checked your shorts over here you gotta at least be up here Up here, what twenty nine, thirty thousand? And you see some shit like this, like this little curves right here. Curve right here. Yeah, and then what happens? What happened right here. Shorts are either putting on shorts or they're taking off shorts. They start taking off shorts right here around 27, 30, I got a 30,000 right here on this day. Boom. Shorts off. I didn't want to, I don't want to hold this short. But the market went all the way up. That was in, you know, this is our last time we went up here. Taking off shorts. Taking off shorts. That's how we went up. Taking off shorts. When you take off a shorts, you gotta buy. You gotta go long. So they're going long. 
point short right here. Started. Where did it start? Look though, it started right here. Look how it looks. It started right here. Look how it looks. Up. Down. So confusing to see how this just interacts. But bam, let me go short, short. A lot of shorts right here. Damn, sure are a lot of shorts right now. And the price is going up. Mm -mm, somebody's getting in a painful position, right? To hold on to.
don't know if I'm recording or not. I gotta be more caught. I gotta get the hang of this. I gotta start pausing this thing. I didn't realize that's what and I was putting something in the uh, chat room that the happening right now if they people can't tune in. Bull could be going short right now and staying short. Time to go along was down here. We missed out. I was asleep. I went to sleep right there. I could have put one of these down here. I put this down here last night. Last night. Yeah, we could be going back lower and another leg down in this one, right? That's what I'm thinking. So I've done. We could have done some shit like that. We could have did this last night. Went down here and came back up today. It was steep to me. Gonna hit this steeper. The steepening. All right, let's get steeper than that. How do we know we're wrong? All right, that's what this should be called to. How do we know we're wrong when they start to buy in a zone where we determined it to be a selling zone? So if you see a bunch of buying going in a space where we normally would be selling, then the market has changed. Exit the market has changed. So this reverses. So this higher territory. Like uh, seven thousand is that? We could be heading back to seven thousand right now, right here. It starts turning red. Oh no, they're 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 going uh they're they're going long because they're going short. They gotta the shorts have to close. They close with long fam. All right, done saying that. I'm sorry, saying. Two o'clock, the day is it up bouncing on this on this green this is a great area to say this is accumulation so just go long uh, position if if this thing doesn't sell off in this area right Market buying. We're looking for market buying. We don't look at this stuff up here. We don't look at this. Looking at this. We're looking at market buying at the price to be selling. And um,
adding. This one right here, we don't have to track cracking. We, we can track. How about this stamp? Second. Resume recording. All right, we're gonna start working on ways to add and they call pyramiding, but we're gonna describe what pyramiding really is and I see Livermore. Basically, you take a bigger position, we, like you take one of your big positions, price moves in. And you could cut get a big game. But I'm not gonna say big position, but you, you get a lot of you take a p position, then you have a lot of gains in the inside, and you're still you're still in that position. Unrealized profit. Do is with those unrealized profits, you use them. Average. Okay. I pulled this up right here. So realized. Profit and loss. Smaller leverage positions. I know I sound confusing, but well, I'm in the trade right now. So. What we're going to do now is. This right here, this is not adding, this is closing your position. So we'll have one. This one, I'm going to use. Spotted line. <laughs> Shots is enough. Go ahead and take the alert. Post that in the room yet? I don't even So grab the uh, art box. Then and it take away the closing portion of the code. And that's easy to do because it starts right here and you just up into this first line. As far as the percentage you want to add, it takes this percentage out. 
available balance. Okay. Adding up, you know, actually putting a smaller position on. Go with this, so we don't have to do. I'm gonna go ahead and add something right now. We come back down, let's say, to this point. Right now. Back down here. I don't know what to do. I'm just thinking. Back horizontal zone. If, if it's not breaking out right here, you would you would think it's going to come back down, right? Or it's going to break the upside, or it's coming back down. I don't. I want to be patient. I can. I would love it for it to come down here and. Uh, you know I mean, but yeah, this was a place to buy down here. Working this into our plan. Back right here. Trades right here. So into market selling going on. Our green. Maximum we want to put a position on our uh, hundred dollars is sixty times two hundred dollars, which is hundred dollar liquidation range away from us. Uh, our liquidation will be a hundred dollars away from us. All right, definitely, definitely. How much leverage right here? Got four, four times leverage on right now. Maximum is sixty-five. Let's talk about some, some more stuff. While we, I believe right here, right, right here, where this bottom of this is, that's a place I'm willing to. be able to trade actively oh this is a buy zone right Okay, let's go to Jesse Livermore real fast. Thank you. 
far it went back down in fact let's see let's see let's see where they start buying back at At the top getting sold back down into a point of always buy put that thing there on here And it's like, let's leave it here. There we go. max margin we're doing actually going to you know average our sales average five times leverage if it goes against us we will reduce position by $120 for every one dollar against us It's kind of complicated, but it's easy, easy to understand. Because instead of taking our account balance away, we got to take our position away first. Position back, Come back your, your account balance. You know, don't get happy for it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Give them back what you borrow from them. You know what I mean? First, here you can have this back. I don't think I need. Oh, you keep it. You can just keep it. No, no, no. You take it back. <laughs> Look, it went all the way down here on my ass, right? But remember, this is not the same as this this uh, this exchange over here. This is off now. All right, here we go. I'll go in there. We're, 
We're actually going right here. know at what point we're $17 in profit how did he get that down there when we put this up here that's the beauty of trading with cracking my friend my friend because this over here is hey so when you when you believe in when you're seeing this one go down this one's going way down so you can only trade on this candle I couldn't trade down here Bought right here, but my price got filled down here. Also, this is a combination of me positions getting bought, but one was only eight hundred dollars. This one added took it to like you know. How much was that? Two of these. Damn, I forgot about this shit. Look at it. Two of these motherfuckers. Half to half in that. If we do this for now, I'm just not gonna add another one. I'll be thinking about reducing. So we bought two thousand fifty-one contracts. Right, that was twelve percent of my available balance. Dig it. I could dig it. And, and fix alert instead of this happening. So lucky number seven, man. Got to do seven. Seven is a lucky seven. Doing seven percent. I'm gonna take two of these. Seven percent is gonna me for you guys. I don't know if, you, if you're following me. You don't have to do what I'm doing, but I have to do it because for all of you guys, it's two orders. Okay, so this is the trend line open long. All this to the rest of them. Fourteen. <coughs> Adding to our short positions. Okay. And we're all done. How about that? Okay. 
me pull that down like a dot. Look. Little dot in line. Still zone. Remember that. Let's stop that alert. to your ass. Person is. I need to reverse it. Need to stink in reverse. Nothing if I'm in profit, yo. Production happens with this. Lose our position. So let's change that we're using also for longs, okay? So you got to look at this like we're reducing longs. Ricky. Off something. Shave off something. Shave off something, hopefully. We start to see some sellers come kick that kick it up in here. They're kicking up some selling up in here. Where are these longs coming from? Why is it easy easier to trade with cracking? This would have you know Bitmax would have been moving so much. Cracking ain't moving. That means nobody's selling. Now we already got loans coming. That's what we got over here on cracking. Six four, six one. I would have been right if I'd have just put my I was only 20 contracts. I was, I was a little booty over there, man. That's Kate. Futures market is open, so let's see what they do. 
futures market is open. They do. You know, I'm talking about SIBO and all those guys. Market buying. I'm not looking. All right. Just so you know. Open. Got to flip our position if we're wrong. Remember, be prepared. Price is six four five. I don't think there's much that many more shorts left in any uh Hold here, then fine here, you know. Fall back down here. I don't want to. Uh, actually, I want to add more when we go up. Start moving below because I'm at 26. where we're supposed to be going. Habits and that reduce 9 right there all this up here look at this they can clear they can make this disappear all of this if they can buy right here and this is they'll sell order right here and they you see nothing market selling
adverse. Preventing success. Harmful. Loss adverse. how confusing it is. Quote, live by leverage, die by leverage, Jesse Livermore. For many investors, it's often easy to exit a profitable trade early but difficult to cut losses short. In fact, you may still not do it after reading this article. Humans dislike being wrong. The pride is one of the reasons why. An investor holding on to a losing trade may find some excuse, saying that he is a long-term investor and not a trader nor speculator, only to suffer the consequences. It is important to remain humble and admit to mistakes early. But it is easier to do this by keeping quiet on our trades and not boasting about positions when talking to peers. However, most investors have a loss adverse nature which makes them unable to adopt and execute a stop-loss rule early. Losing trade is usually held onto until the loss becomes unbearable, or until an investor gets a margin call from the ender and is forced to close a position, depending on the level of leverage used. A small 5% loss can be swiftly magnified to 70% or more. From a mathematical perspective, the loss, the harder it will be to recoup losses. Therefore, mistakes must be Acknowledged and stopped early. Secondly, avoid the folly of trying to find a good reason for selling a leveraged investment. Answers take time to come, by which time it usually be too late to act profitably. Furthermore, feels that the only reason an investor or speculator should see VCR want to have pointed to him is the action of the market itself. Investors are encouraged to use technical analysis to make. Okay, we're gonna read. That's why I was cleaning it up right. to shareable to this. My Discord. Crypto by trading room. dynamics videos
yeah, they're selling. If I'm right, right. everything on. That's being right, not on. This. Live by leverage, die by leverage, Jesse Livermore.
How do I remove these one, these, these line? Convert multi line input within a cell. Edit, find, replace, right? Edit, find, take back to search using regular expression. Uh, search using regular expression. So, copy and paste the following regular expression using. There they go. Been looking. Exactly what I was trying to do. Paste it. Paste. Actions. Here's return. to go back to the main document. Space is where where they're supposed to be. Good old second. Investors are, investors should not. Going to do it manual, man manually. Simulators. I kill you later. Pri the private. This is Livermore. Livermore. 
more. Fully aware, fully aware of the risk involved in leverage. Set aside money and trust. Takes his family from out all the rules. As liberal had with leverage, suffered from depression. Look, they're buying it. They, they didn't even come down here and let me add to my position. Started down there adding. Maybe, maybe we still come back down. Because indeed, I've already added to my position. Right back where I... Probably like four bucks. That's, that's a good trade. I believe that's a good trade. Out of this bitch, too. Right. Go ahead and get back to the <laughs> Only in a market. Ending heavily in direction. Livermore also famous for using an old trading strategy called pyramiding. Okay. I'm not going to do voice typing, but let's go get that off of voice. Reader, let's see. Reads text from your Google Docs, scrolling through text and reads it out loud. Let me grab this one real fast. Give it up. Look at those bars. Look at that. I'm looking at this now, but this and this coinciding. First document
There it is on the sidelines. Oh, yeah. See, there's a better way for doing everything. I'm telling you guys. Look at this. I don't even need that other thing out here. Having all that. So this is great. And then look. I got, I got same voices. Oh, my God. scroll on with the bank lines let's play though so what start reading start reading okay this is start oh he puts the reading glasses on what's this okay. about share okay okay I I like it all right Buying or selling? Back at that same place where they were, they're supposed to be selling. If I'm wrong, they're gonna be, they're gonna be selling right there. to buy this book guys I got this information from By leverage, die by leverage. Jesse Livermore. For many investors, it is often easy to exit a profitable trade early but difficult to cut losses short. In fact, they may still not do it after reading this article. Humans dislike being wrong, and pride is one of the reasons why. An investor holding on to a losing trade may find some excuse, saying that he is a long term investor and not a trader nor speculator, only to suffer the consequences. It is important to remain humble and admit to mistakes early, and it is easier to do this by keeping quiet on our trades and not boasting about positions when talking to peers. However, most investors have a loss-adverse nature which makes them unable to adopt and execute a stop-loss rule early. Losing trade is usually held onto until the loss becomes unbearable, or until an investor gets a margin call from the ender and is forced to close a position. Depending on the level of leverage used, a small 5% loss can be swiftly magnified to 70% or more. From a mathematical perspective, the loss, the harder it will be to recoup losses. Therefore, mistakes must be acknowledged and stopped early. Secondly, avoid the folly of trying to find a good reason for selling a leveraged investment. Answers take time to come, by which time it would usually be too late to act profitably. Livermore feels that the only reason an investor or speculator should CBC or want to have pointed out to him is the action of the market itself. Investors are here. A little bit too high. 
They, they were able to sell that thing right back down. Crazy as that sounds. We're able to sell it back down. Gotta, gotta get a lower. where I was going to buy more. Yes, I'm going to kill it. Kill it. Let's kill it. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm trying to get this thing to play right, as you can see. By leverage, die by leverage. Jesse Livermore. For many investors, it is often easy to exit a profitable trade early but difficult to cut losses short. In fact, they may still not do it after reading this article. Humans dislike being wrong, and pride is one of the reasons why. An investor holding onto a losing trade may find some excuse saying that he is a long-term investor and not a trader nor speculator, only to suffer the consequences. It is important to remain humble and admit to mistakes early, and it is easier to do this by keeping quiet on our trades and not boasting about positions when talking to peers. However, most investors have a loss-adverse nature which makes them unable to adopt and execute a stop-loss rule early. A losing trade is usually held onto until the loss becomes unbearable, or until an investor gets a margin call from the ender and is forced to close a position. Depending on the level of leverage used, a small 5% loss can be swiftly magnified to 70% or more. From a mathematical perspective, the loss, the harder it will be to recoup losses. Or, mistakes must be acknowledged and stopped early. Secondly, avoid the folly of trying to find a good reason for selling a leveraged investment. Answers take time to come, by which time it would usually be too late to act profitably. Livermore feels that the only reason an investor or speculator should CVCR want to have pointed out to him is the action of the market itself. Investors are encouraged to use technical analysis to make leverage trading decisions rather than assume market fundamentals. Losses should be cut when prices do not act right, and it should be done when the market says so. Investors should not accumulate more losing positions like by averaging down when they are wrong, based on certain beliefs or fundamentals. Markets can remain irrational longer than you remaining solvent especially for leveraged accounts. Thirdly, it is important that an investor invests with leverage only when the risk-rewards ratio is great. One must be a disciplined trader and not become a compulsive gambler. As leveraged losses can be see big. Investors need to be patient and wait for potential returns that are large enough to make business sense and cover interest costs. Lastly, stick to liquid investments that you understand. In 2008, individuals and a few institutional investors, especially in Hong Kong, were sold financial derivative products like accumulators aka I kill you later by their private banks. In some cases, leverage was used despite having insufficient knowledge of the product. Not many of their bankers truly understood the risk involved and had a sales target to meet. Similarly structured products such as currency or equity linked notes had unattractive risk reward ratios and poor liquidity. The 2008 credit was full blown, investors had difficulty unwinding their positions and suffered huge losses. Livermore also famous for using an old trading strategy called pyramiding, where a speculator adds to their position size by using margin from unrealized gains. Rewards are huge but will work well only in a market that is trending heavily in one direction. Livermore figured the best way to pyramid was to establish a full position through a few early large trades. Slash B and large profits are made. Smaller additional leveraged positions could be taken as the price moved in a favorable direction. This helps protect against sudden adverse losses that could occur. Other than stop loss rules, trailing stops must be used to profit take as, according to Livermore, 
You get paid when you exit. One can appreciate how Livermore was fully aware of the risks involved in leverage investing when he set aside money in a trust to protect his family from his trading activities. Despite all the rules, dedication, and success Livermore had with leverage investing, he suffered from depression and lost all he had in 1934. In 1940, Livermore published an investment classic titled I Low to Trade Stocks, where he described his experiences and techniques in trading in the stock and commodity markets. Shortly, after, he shot himself in the head in the cloakroom of the Sherry Netherland Hotel in Manhattan. In conclusion, engage in leverage investing only if you know how to make trading decisions. If you find this chapter difficult to understand, stay off leverage investing. And if you still want to, keep leverage within 120%. 1.2x leverage. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what 120 leverage is. Let me ask one.
what the job this post a document of this document is engaging and leverage investing he says he says himself he says engage in leverage investing only if you know how to make trading decisions I find this chapter difficult to understand stay away from leverage if you still want to leverage within 120 percent I'm like what is that 1.2 times current what I got what I got right here is a Wallet balance is about two hundred dollars, which is point zero three. Your position margin, okay, percent of margin used, leverage is twenty five times leverage. Now, if I feel like one hundred twenty percent leverage is one point two times leverage, I really don't know. So, I, guys. You can come. Breakdown of losses. Tools. Patterns. Who are also famous for using an old trading strategy called pyramiding, where a speculator adds to their position size by using margin from unrealized gains. Rewards are huge but will work well only in a market that is trending heavily in one direction. Evermore figured the best way to pyramid was to establish a full position through a few early large trades. When large profits are made, Smaller additional leveraged positions could be taken as the price moved in a favorable direction. This helps protect against sudden adverse losses that could occur. Other than stop loss rules, trailing stops must be used to profit take as, according to Livermore, you get paid when you exit. Guys, understanding that. <clears throat> so, that being said, I mean, is pyramiding where you add to your position size by margin realize gains? Hmm. Unrealized gains are right here. Right, they're right here. Unrealized gains is right here. 23. They're right here. Here they go right here. I can take on unrealized gains and add margin to it. That's kind of crazy. Oh, I gotta answer this. Right. I'm gonna pause this now. Okay, guys. So documents there. <clears throat>